Buckle up, life is gonna start quickening its pace now that the nodes are moving into the cardinal signs of Aries and Libra. What's up everyone? We are back to discuss an incoming celestial shift, and it's not a planetary shift, but a nodal shift. And in some traditions of astrology, particularly the Vedic lineage, um, the nodes are just as important as the planets. They're right on par with the planets. And even in the Western tradition, the nodes are really important, although there's a lot of different reasons why. <laughs> but yeah, so the main reason why we want to pay attention to the nodes is because wherever the nodes are transiting is where the eclipses are going to occur. So you're going to get an eclipse when you get a newer full moon, um, within 18 degrees of the lunar nodes. It doesn't mean that they will occur, but it's that window when you get a lunation within 18 degrees of the lunar nodes that an eclipse can occur. So it kind of depends on the different eclipses that there are and everything. Um, so yeah, wherever the eclipses are happening is where the hands of fate are working more closely with our lives here on earth. So you'll notice that when eclipse season happens, events intensify, the speed at which things are kind of shifting and changing quickens. And you know, if you've experienced an eclipse hitting a point in your natal chart or an angle that it can flip your life upside down or it can shift your perspective. Sometimes it's, it's a thank you for clearing the path kind of shift. And sometimes it, it's a, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. And I, really don't appreciate that <laughs> kind of shift. So eclipses come in all different flavors. Um, they are generally considered malefic, but some people, myself included, have a little bit of an appreciation for eclipses because they have seen them bring really positive shifts for folks as well. So what I wanna do today is I wanna talk about this upcoming nodal shift. And we're going to be seeing the nodes shift from the Taurus Scorpio axis into the Aries Libra axis. We've got the North node in Taurus at the time of this recording, but on July 17th, 2023, that North node is going to regress into Aries. And that's because the nodes move backwards. So that node is going to regress into the sign of Aries. So we're going to see that node move backwards from zero degrees Taurus right on into 29 degrees Aries. And simultaneously with the south node, we're going to see that south node move backwards from zero degrees Scorpio into 29 degrees Libra. And so we're going to experience this shift on a collective level with themes that are becoming intensified and emphasized for us. We're going to experience it in our personal lives as well because the eclipses are going to start to activate a new sector of our chart we already saw one aries eclipse so wherever you have aries that north node is going to start generating new energy in that sector of your life and simultaneously in the libra sector of your life that south node is going to start clearing things out and creating more space so um yeah some of the things that i have been seeing. So let's just reflect a moment on some of the things that the Taurus Scorpio axis has really highlighted for us. First and foremost, I've really seen people slow it down. You know, Taurus is all about finding a comfortable pace, a sustainable pace. You know, we're not, it's, you know, it's, it's a Venus ruled sign. So we want things to be, to have a certain degree of ease and enjoyment to them. And I've seen people just sort of reach this point of exhaustion, um, especially on social media. People are like, yeah, I just don't want to do that anymore. I want to be present. I want to unplug intentionally, um, especially with some of the commotion we've been seeing in recent years with the, you know, the Neptune Jupiter conjunction in Pisces that brought just like an onslaught of scammers. And it just made it not fun. So a lot of people just kind of deinvested themselves from those spaces. And I've just seen a lot of people just slow it down in terms of um, how much content that they're churning out and that kind of thing. Um, so I, and I've seen people 
kind of slow it down in other areas too. And I think it's just like a natural progression from after the pandemic too, just people sort of sorting out what their priorities are and then really wanting to be in physical spaces, shared physical spaces with one another. So yeah, that Taurus North Node really dropped us into the present and it sort of encouraged us to create more lived experiences for ourselves that are enriched in quality versus quantity. So I've really observed that from people, um, not just in online spaces, but in my personal life as well. Um, and in client sessions too, like you all are telling me about it, how you're just not, um, doing the hustle anymore and things have kind of slowed down. And some of the themes that I've really seen emphasized in the last couple of years with the Taurus Scorpio axis is resources. So we've seen that play out in a big way with um, the war in between Ukraine and um, and Russia and how a lot of Europe has shifted where they source a lot of their um, energy resources. And you know, we've seen the price of food go up. We've been dealing with inflation in a big way. So the cost of resources, you know, going to the grocery store is a lot more stressful for people now because everything costs so much more and people are buying less. Um, so yeah, we've seen a lot of dramatic shifts in terms of resources. Um, and yes, particularly the earth's resources. It's like, I, <laughs> I have like a file in my group chat, my astrology group chat and cauldron where it's just, you know, we're tracking all these different headlines that we see in relationship with, with the earth's resources and, um, inflation and all that. So yeah, we've seen those themes become really pronounced on the world stage as well as beauty. <laughs> beauty has become, you know, we were reflecting on this in cauldron too, about how for many years, plastic surgery was like out. People were sort of embracing body positivity and being all natural. And like ever since the North Node has been moving through Taurus, we've seen more and more people say, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to get the boobs that I want. I'm going to get the face that I want. I'm going to get the lift that I want. And I'm just seeing it boom. So a lot more people are doing that and, you know, to each their own. But that's the North Node in Taurus, a Venus ruled sign, drawing more energy into that beauty world. And so we've just been seeing like this boom in in that um, in like hair and beautification and all of that, um, as well as the price of food. Right. So yeah, we've seen like major shifts in that area. One last theme I wanna highlight here that's been really emphasized for us with the nodes in, along the Taurus Scorpio axis is the wealth gap, the wealth inequalities and how big of a problem it's becoming in the world. Um, so we do have one last eclipse in Taurus and that's gonna be at five degrees Taurus. It's gonna be, um, I believe on the, 28th of October. Yeah. So that one should kind of bring a lot of these themes, both the, the ones that we've experienced in our personal life, as well as on the world stage, there's going to be some kind of cohesive ending here that comes in at the end of the year with these themes. Well, simultaneously, we're going to start to see the influx of new Libra Aries themes. So let's talk about that. So the North Node is going to shift into Aries on July 17th, and it will tra continue to travel backwards through the sign of Aries through January 12th of 2025. So we've got about a year and a half, about 18 months of the nodes moving through each sign of the Zodiac, and the eclipse seasons tend to last about two years. Um, so yeah, some of the things that we're going to start to see... Um, okay. So I read an article like right after, right around the time of that Aries eclipse, and it really grabbed my attention. It was written by Joanna Cheek and it's called smiling to death, the hidden dangers of being nice. And it really talks about how, you know, 
censoring ourselves or holding things in can be detrimental to our health. And so I really thought that this article really screamed Aries Libra access and how conflict can actually be healthy when done in a mindful way. Um, conflict not necessarily being aggressive, but conflict saying, hey, I'd like to get something off of my chest. Can we talk about this? Something that you did or said kind of like irritated me or didn't, it's not sitting quite right with me. Can we have some words about this? So I really think that problem solving techniques, conflict and conflict resolution are going to start to be emphasized. They're going to start to be trendy. We're going to start to see more articles like this. And the importance of being authentic, Aries, the importance of being honest, Aries, um, while also taking into consideration the other people, Libra. So a lot of times that whole like smiling to death thing can be like a Libra trait, like being fake, um, having like a veneer without necessarily communicating the fullness of maybe what you're thinking or feeling. So yeah, that Aries, that Aries unfiltered quality versus the polished and curated Libra quality are going to be really emphasized here. Maybe a little bit at odds. Maybe we're going to be doing some rebalancing. Um, Aries, the North Node in Aries, it's going to highlight conflict. It's going to highlight, um, you know, we still have that a uh, conflict between Russia and Ukraine that I mentioned has been heating up. So this theme of battles and conflict will become more emphasized. Um, you know, weaponry, that's going to continue to be a conversation that we have with the North Node moving through Aries. Um, as much as I would like to report otherwise, I think the North Node, it creates more issues. Um, it tends to make a bigger deal out of something. It tends to draw a great deal of energy toward it. So I think, um, unfortunately, we may continue to see um, problems with weaponry in the United States where I live, where we have an epidemic of gun violence. Basically, it's very sad. But I think we'll continue to see that issue continue to be an issue and it's definitely going to continue to spark conversation there about how do we solve this um so yeah libra is basically like the political sign of the zodiac it's all about strategy it's all about finding win-win situations so hopefully that that quality of libra will continue to be emphasized in a big way for us as well on the world stage about how can we find a win-win when we're we're so at odds with one another. Things are very polarized right now. And I know that that's not just true here. So Libra quality might come in and try to balance some of that of, you know, we've gone rogue, Aries. How can we kind of bring things back into harmony? How can we become a little bit more civilized? Um, how can we find, how can we work together to find a win-win situation? So Libra is all about cooperation. And um, yeah, Aries is all about not sacrificing um, things that are important to you in order to achieve the end goal. So yeah, we're going to definitely see that tension between those two. Some other things that we might see um, yeah, like going rogue versus playing on a team. I kind of mentioned that being nice versus the value of authenticity, which is also very important. You know, it's important to be authentic, but it's also important to be decent. Right. And so those themes are going to kind of be at odds and pulling at each other, both in extreme directions. I also think that demonstration is sort of an Aries thing versus the power of the pen, Libra, which is like writing a letter or writing a law, um, that sort of thing. Law and order is going to be a very big deal with the eclipses in Libra. Very big deal. Beauty and design is going to continue to be emphasized, too, because here it's interesting because even though we have 
the nodes shifting into a brand new axis, the rulers are still the same. We still have Venus ruling one of the nodes and Mars ruling the other node. So we're going to continue to see beauty and design come into prominence, although we might see a little bit of an easing off the gas with some of the um, with some of the plastic surgery, I think. Like we were talking a lot in Cauldron about that pill, Ozampic or, or whatever it's called. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that like weight loss pill. Um, and I think like that south node in Libra might be, maybe might see some of the falling out of that pill in popularity. You know, we're gonna start to see the shadow sides of that about like being beautiful at all costs, right? We're gonna see some of the fallout of that, I think. But yeah, I think on a personal level, we can really look forward to gaining more insight into our relationship dynamics and learning some of the hacks of how to be true to ourselves, but how to also work with our partners and work with you know people that we um, might need to cooperate better with or people that we might find ourselves in conflict with, maybe like at work, for example. I think we're gonna really see some big steps forward in terms of conflict resolution and just insights into relationships. There was another article I read and I can't remember it um, or else I would also cite it like the other one, but there was one that was really talking about how ghosting has just gotten out of control and not just on dating sites, but like between friends, like people who have a longstanding history of being friends and one friend just saying, you know, I'm choosing to protect my peace and and this relationship without giving any further um, reasoning or explanation as to why. And apparently this is like a, a thing. People are, you know, prioritizing their peace, their boundaries, and just terminating relationships, saying that it's too much emotional labor when you know, it's, is it really emotional labor or is that just what you do for people that you care about? Um, I will say, I think that a lot of people are just exhausted and burnt out. Uh, life is, is a lot harder, I think, in some respects than it was on earlier generations where the wealth gap wasn't as big as a problem. Um, and so people are just spread too thin and they don't have the nervous system stamina to handle a lot of a lot of pressure and so i think that that has been the benefit of the north node moving through taurus is it's just kind of help people kind of slow it down and prioritize their peace but i think that this nodal shift is going to help us kind of circle back and say you know i was kind of an asshole (laughs) um i didn't end that properly um maybe i i need to stop just like you know, cutting people out and and shutting people down um, and that sort of thing. I think we'll see a a shift back toward that Libra polarity of, you know, let's let's have a negotiation. Let's talk it out. And also just being decent to one another is the big takeaway for me. So, yeah, maybe we start giving one another a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt, that Libra quality of just sort of like, letting other people do them in sort of a slightly detached, non-judgmental kind of way. Um, And I also think, yeah, there's going to be a definite emphasis on the theme between like battles and peace, conflict and conflict resolution, and also remediating some of the social awkwardness that many of us still have from the pandemic and the post-pandemic era. Um, even though we're still technically in it, um, but you know, in the, in terms of the way that we socialize and the way that we interact, I think, yeah, that, that Libra quality is going to help us sort of repair some of that. While that Aries quality is one thing that that Aries quality is really going to do is it's going to pick up the speed in our lives. The way that things have kind of slowed down with all this emphasis on the sign of Taurus um, things are kind of got kind of speed up again. People are gonna be go getters. People are gonna say, "I'm gonna go try that. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna live in the moment. I'm gonna take a chance." So that Aries energy is really gonna become activated for a lot of us. So it's not just honesty and straightforwardness. It's the seizing the day and seizing the moment. 
But yeah, I think things will definitely heat up. I think we might expect more truth telling, more forthcoming um, qualities in people. And we might just start learning more, more <laughs> like one of my Aries friends said, I hate when people don't tell me that I upset them. And, <laughs> and I'm over here as a Libra thinking, well, if it's not like a big deal, maybe it doesn't need to be brought up. So yeah, I think that that polarity is going to really become emphasized here for us over the next 18 months. Um, so yeah, more forthcoming in our relationships and more conflict resolution in our relationships, let's hope. Um, so that's a little bit about that nodal shift, and I'm sure we'll definitely be talking a lot more about it as we move through the year and next year. But for right now, that was your astrology shot of the day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Timing with Transits, my 11-week mentorship and predictive technique begins on September 21st. We're covering transits. We're covering perfections. We've got a blend of live and pre-recorded tutorials and ongoing support throughout the program. So if you want more information on that, or you want to snag that early bird rate, head to my website, katherineurban.com.